Ladies and gentlemen, today was a huge day in politics. Donald Trump is finally sitting down with his nemesis, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, to discuss unifying the Republican Party after they've been trash-talking each other for months. As you can see, people are a little excited about it. Stage is now set for the big meeting Thursday here in Washington. A lot of people are wondering what's going to happen on Thursday. Thursday's Capitol cliffhanger. Thursday. Thursday morning. On Thursday. On Thursday. Thursday. On Thursday. Thursday. As I understand it, on Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. Wow. I mean, well, guys, here's the thing. It's finally Thursday. This is going to be epic. I cannot wait to find out. What happened in this historic meeting? Let's find out from Paul Ryan himself the outcome of this game-changing Thursday. But this is a process. It takes a little time. You don't put it together in 45 minutes. Oh, so Thursday certainly sucked. <laughs> that was a build-up to nothing. I've got to say, though, like, <laughs> Ryan is, is in a difficult spot. Like, on the one hand, Trump has made a lot of offensive statements. On the other hand, Trump is his party's only chance at winning. And because it's Trump, both of those hands are very, very tiny. <laughs> it's all like that. Uh, but, like, Paul Ryan right now, he's like a girl at a bar at the end of the night where all the hot guys have left. <laughs> and she's trying to convince herself that it'd be worth taking home the guy with the orange skin and weird hair. <laughs> But it's not really all that surprising that these two are mending faces. They both actually have a lot in common. For example, they've both taken pictures that they now regret. <laughs> but Ryan's not the only one who seems to be changing his mind about Trump. Former presidential candidate John McCain stated in an interview this week that he thinks Donald Trump could be a capable leader. John McCain spent several years in a Viet Cong prison and somehow saying Donald Trump is capable sounds like the hardest thing he's ever had to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but saying Donald Trump could be a capable leader is not very reassuring. If you're about to have an operation and they told you that your doctor could be a capable surgeon, <laughs> you'd be like, do you know what? It was a minor heart attack. I'm good. Honestly, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> McCain said that Trump could be a capable leader, and he knows good leadership. After all, he is the man who picked this woman as his second in command. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Sarah Palin, she has been up to her usual wacky antics lately, uh, condemning Paul Ryan for not getting on the Trump wagon fast enough. Palin has endorsed a man named Paul Nealon, whom she would like to see take Ryan's spot in Congress. Mm, a, a candidate endorsed by Sarah Palin. I wonder what that guy's political ad looks like. I'm a businessman. I build things, create jobs. Jobs allow people to pay their mortgage, put food on their table, put their kids through college. Wait, is this a political ad? <laughs> or an ad for Viagra? <laughs> So I will say, though, this guy seems like he would be good in a crisis, a midlife crisis. <laughs> but in the end, I don't really know what qualifies you to be a good congressman, but I'm just going to suggest this. Maybe one of the requirements should be sleeves. 